Hello and welcome. Today we are talking about the Caveco Sport. And the one that I have here is a uh, maroon color, I suppose. And I've got the uh, gold uh, clip with it. These clips, of course, are removable, as I'm sure most people know. You can just slide them off and you can have um, the spin without a clip. And it's one of the fun things about the spin. It's sort of like a feels a little bit like a bold as you go kind of thing. You can add the clip or you can opt to go without it, which makes this really nice if you just want to throw it in your you know, trouser pocket or in a bag somewhere and don't want a clip to snag on things, then this is really nice. I mean, it's a pocket pen. It's, it's really small compared to other pens. If I, let me find something. If I were to compare it to the Caveco uh, Parkeo, for example, uh, which is perhaps, a, I don't know if that's a good comparison because that's also Caveco, but you could see, uh, of course, you the Pakeo is a normal size pen and this, this one is not. This one is a lot smaller. And the idea with these pens is that you uh, post them and then you have a fully sized pen. The, the idea uh, seemed a little bit strange to me in the beginning, but you know, how comfortable can it be? Because I don't post my pens as a general rule. This pen though, uh, you, you really need to post it. Now, for people with smaller hands like me, I could use this unposted, but it really feels really comfortable when you do post it. So I, I do recommend this, it really works. It's, it's excellent. It provides really good balance to the pen as well. And, um, and it looks good. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this. Um, it's plastic. Uh, but when you post it, it you don't have to uh, apply a lot of pressure there, just a little bit, and it's it's really it's really in there. So so it works. It's a really functional design. Um, I do have others as well. I, I have a black one, and I th and a, uh, I think an olive green, which is a special edition. Um, I don't know if this one was a special edition. Maybe I have to look up. It might be actually, but anyway, it, it, this one has the. It just says Caveco Sport, and it has um, the Caveco logo on with a, so a gold gold trim plastic uh, on the finial there. Nothing at the bottom. So I think let's uh, take a quickly take a closer look at this pen. I'll do a writing sample. Um, you can decide if it's something that you want in your collection, but I can already tell you that it's absolutely worth the while. Uh, it's a fun little pen to have. Um, so let's do let's do a writing sample and uh, see how this turns out. All right, let's have a quick closer look at the spin. Uh, I'll start with the um, the clip. So uh, you do have to order these uh, separate from Caveco, and um, that's both good and bad. Uh, on the bad side, I I don't think it's really fair that you have to order a clip for a pen separately. I think that's uh yeah i'm not i'm not crazy about that idea on on the upside um it does allow you to order a clip that you think will fit with your pen so the these do come in different um variations um and so you can decide what you want what will fit better uh, not that there are so many choices uh i think you really realistically have a choice between one or two perhaps you know if i for example this this one has the um gold gold uh, nib and um, to order a chrome uh, clip would not really make sense would it it wouldn't fit so so immediately your choices are sort of limited but having said that these are really nice clips this is a clever way of doing things it just slides on and you have a clip and what's nice about it is you can position the clip where it's most comfortable for you and uh, it fits really well, so it doesn't it doesn't scratch up the pen. Although I must say it's not like I use it uh, that much that I would be able to say, but I don't think it will be a problem. On the uh, pen itself, we have the the finial, which is the Caveco has the Caveco logo on the cap. It says Caveco Sport. Nothing really uh, on the bottom, except if, I don't know if we can zoom in there. Yep, 
yeah, just just that on the bottom. Um, pin unscrews plastic on plastic threads. The whole pin is plastic. Uh, so it's very light. I have to add that. It's very light, but it feels uh, really good quality. There's nothing about it that feels uh, cheap or flimsy or like it's going to break or anything like that. So plastic, but it feels good. That is the pin uncapped. Section is quite small, but it's uh, it's shaped a little bit. I suppose for for uh, for the grip, the threads are um, you know that you can, you do feel them, but when you hold the pin, um, they don't get in the way and they're not sharp. So threads are not a problem at all. The pin holds really comfortable. Uh, there's not much of a step between the section and the barrel. It's just the threads there and a tiny, tiny step. So uh, you don't really feel a difference between the barrel and the section when you hold the pin and when you cap it the way that you're supposed to. It holds very, very comfortably. The so nub. And this, by the way, is a fine nib. Uh, the two other, I've got two other Kaveco Sports, and uh, they are both bold nibs. I really like these in a bold nib. They are really smooth. They lay down a good amount of ink. Uh, this is the only one I have in a fine, but I'm happy to have this one. It's it's really nice, and I'll show you in a moment how this pin writes. Right, and what I have here is a tiny little Kaveco converter uh, now with this one you may have heard me talk in a previous video that this sometimes happened the ink sort of uh, all you know gets bottled at the I don't know is that the top of the converter and then um, when you're writing um, I wonder sometimes if that's why a pen runs dry a bit so if I did that uh, we can see now the ink does. Now, I don't know if that's an ink thing, if, if there are certain inks that are more prone to do that, or if this is the converter, that is it the converter that's doing this. Um, I'm not sure which one. And I'm getting ink all over my fingers, which I don't know if that is a problem with this pen, or if it's just that I, I'm having the nib all over my fingers. But um, I have found that this one is prone to, uh, I'm prone to having on my fingers when I use this pen. But anyway, um, this is a sort of a like, basic plunger converter. It works really well. It's small. It doesn't hold a lot of ink, but I find that it works. And the nice thing about these converters is that it makes it really easy to clean this pen and to re-ink it. Um, so from that perspective, I really like it. Yeah, it screws on really, really well. The cap as well. I wouldn't over tighten it, but when you tighten it, it's it's there. It works. Nothing wrong. Uh, really like it. We'll do a writing sample in a moment. And what I have here is Diamine Oxblood. Uh, I haven't used this ink much. I bought it a while ago. I've used it once or twice, so didn't have don't have a lot of experience with it. And um, I thought that the color goes well with the pen which it does and I think it's a good ink as well so let's do a writing sample and I'll be doing the writing sample on my rhodia.pad all right let's go uh, when you when you post the pen depending on what's comfortable with the clip um, yeah that's that's really up to you but uh, so Let's get started. This is the Kaveco Sport. And this is a fine nib. The ink that I have in here is Diamine Oxblood. I think for a fine, it's uh, it's wet enough. Um, it's definitely not dry at all. It's not on the dry side at all. So I, I really enjoy that. I really enjoy a wetter pen that lays down a good amount of ink.
So, as you can tell, I really enjoy writing with this pen. It's, it's a really good writer. The, uh, the nib, although it's a fine nib, I find that it's, it's definitely not scratchy at all. It's really smooth, actually, um, with just the right amount of feedback. So it's a really comfortable writer. Um, yeah, the, the, I don't want to say too much about the ink, but uh, the ink is good. I, I like the Daimai ink. There is something strange, though. I do, I'm, I'm having ink all over my fingers with this pen. And I'm wondering if I have a leak somewhere. Uh, so I'll have to have a closer look at that. Um, but it's strange. I, I don't have this issue with any other pens. And I don't want to get into it too much. But do I have ink there? There's some, yeah, there's some ink over there. Well, I, I will check it out. Maybe it's just me and the way I'm handling the pen. But I have ink all over my fingers. And this this is the kind of ink that you do have to clean your your fingers um, because everything you touch uh, you will have a little bit of ox blood on it uh, after this. Well, if you like this kind of video, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate the help with my channel, and um, I hope to see you soon with another video. Please take care. Keep on.